Now here's a lot of different foods I like to feed my fish because I have a variety of fish. You always want to have a varied diet for them. Now even what I feed them now is a little different so I've actually modified even what I'm showing you guys here but again this is just where I was and eventually you'll see where I am and how this little again this journey of mine and what I continue to try to do to learn more about the fish and what they like what they don't like the pond maintenance and things like that that's where these videos come into key because you'll see how far I came once you see the progression especially when you see the size of the fish have gotten since I originally showed them on my YouTube channel so that's it guys but I hope you like this video stay tuned for more vlog 5 will be coming out next Yo, what's up guys? You want me Tree Boy for Life? I just wanted to show you this real quick. What you what it looks like when you get your koi clay. It's always harder than it looks. A five pound bag right there of koi clay. And you can kind of see what it says here. Everything it does, I'll go kind of slow so you can follow along. But this is that real deal right here and then on top of that and then again all this is ebay it's about 20 something dollars i think this was close to 20 something dollars but it was a lot more than what i was normally getting so you can see that right there look at that so there we go oh i see exactly what they did oh my goodness now this was a cool thing. Now I go to buildasoil.com. I gotta advocate for them. I don't I get sponsored by them or anything crazy like that, but I just appreciate the deals that they offer on this barley straw. And I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. Stuff some in here. So basically, this is algae protection and granted it doesn't completely knock out depending on your application now before summertime hit really hard my water was crystal clear with a combination with this with the clay and with the carbon everything was immaculate I mean you could see to the bottom everything no issues at all but what I like about this is that with the barley straw I just put it in a mesh bag or I put it in a basket and just let it sit there and soak up whatever in the water um, it just does what it wants to do and it takes a little time when you don't use like you can use like a liquid form or whatever you want to use but this form is my favorite um, it does leave some debris in the water but I mean but at the same time it's still helping it and even though I let a little mild algae bloom go and the water darkened up a little bit as you can see in some of my other videos this keeps it from getting too crazy and in fact it will actually clear it up but I only put a little bit in just to kind of keep a little balance there and that's what you want to all and that's always what you're trying to do with any aquarium any situation that you have you're trying to strike a balance so that's what you use stuff like this for and use other things um, and so I just want to show you guys that and just again thanks so much for watching my channel and as always, I really appreciate that. Um, top some merch. If you got a chance to go look in my um, About tab, I got some links. You can go hit me up on um, Instagram. I'm on Instagram a little more than I am on, on Facebook. I took it off my phone because it just was overwhelming. But I am on Facebook, and I will get to you when I get to you on there. But it is quicker and easier to get to me on probably Instagram than anywhere now. But sometimes I take breaks from YouTube as well. So... You just have to try to catch me where you can sometimes. You know how it is life. But I want to show you guys this. And just remember, use eBay. eBay is really the place you get the cheapest stuff from. And you don't have to break the bank.
trying to get this stuff from a reputable dealer, you know, somebody you, you know and trust, I mean, to a degree, but they still have to make their money. Buy in bulk, save yourself money. Okay. But like 22, 20, so just say 40 for those. And then I pay 30 for the bail of um, barley straw and then 32 to ship it, so it's 62. So pretty much right at $100, I got all this. So I'll be able to maintain the maintenance on my pond at least for two months with just the, with the um, coal um, charcoal activated. And then probably three or four or five, six months for this right here. And then this might last me about the same. I'll just say six months. So about half a year, roughly, give or take. And I might even extend this on. Sometimes I let it run longer. Plus it's about to go into the winter time. So it won't be as bad. I won't feed them as much. So you can just, you know, again, you can see the situation there but anyways peace out what's up guys you on with me tree boy for life just wanted to say what's up <clears throat> thank you so much too let's see here i'm going to show you real quick how to navigate through my channel before we go ahead with this video so just please stick around for the main footage but you go to my channel if you type my name in google to search this is what comes up <clears throat> i got a ton of videos i got playlists I got a bunch of them that pop up. There we go. Some of my favorites, you know, just go on and on. A bunch of my videos grouped together. Still making playlists every so often. Um, these channels. And I'm going to go to my about page. There's some of my um, links to us. If you want to donate and also to um, Arbor Shirts, um, my Twitter, my Facebook. And also I'm going to add my Instagram on here soon. Um, but to date, I have 28, 11, 5, 1, 5 views and 9,500 subscribers. So thank you so much. So much. Okay. So again, if you look for me, Tree Boy for Life, and you go through my videos, you can find a lot of different things on what to do, especially with tree climbing. I do scrapping, some splicing, not a whole lot, but some splicing. And then mostly tree work and then I have some miscellaneous videos with me doing other things like buying and selling and also um, sometimes working on a chainsaw or something like that or doing something what we're going to do today learn about a little hack for your aquarium or for your um, pond so that's what we're going to do today okay get that out of there So why I wanted to shoot this video today, and I'm sorry if it's hard to hear me, my air conditioner is on right behind my head. <clears throat> a lot of people wonder, um, you know, when you have to go hurry up and buy something um, to make something work, you know, especially if you're using buckets like you would get at Home Depot or Lowe's or just your paint store, local paint store, you got a five gallon bucket, you're going to do some drilling and you're going to get <clears throat> some filtration and then you also get like some media or some, some padding. But in particular, the carbon. This is a 40 ounce container of carbon. I got it off of eBay. Okay. And let me let me see if I can pull this up and see how much I paid for it. I doubt it'll show it. But while I'm talking, but anyways, um <clears throat> got that off of eBay. And I was trying to figure out um really like how can I get some some bags for the carbon because I looked on eBay and then there's some on eBay and they, but you have to wait. Or there's some at the pet store, there's some here or there. But I figured out something when I was in the store. Um, I went, I go to um, like Marshall's, um, Burlington Coat Factory. There's Ross or Roses. Sometimes, some of these off brand stores, you know, guys, um, you just never know what you'll find. And that's where I came across these. And so I'm looking now through my, my purchases, guys. Let me just see if I can find what I paid for this carbon right here so I can give you an idea too about what you're paying for that <clears throat> I'm just looking scrolling through guys if they let me oh yeah purchases no wonder I was in my watch list like a dummy <clears throat> so <clears throat> right there I paid $15.11 for that big old container and I probably paid about I think two fifty, three dollars. Just say I paid six dollars for these. So for like twenty-five bucks, basically, 
um, after taxes, worst case scenario, 20, 25 bucks. <clears throat> I got this set up here. Now, I won't use these. You can give these things away, and that's all they are, little scrunchies. But what you have to do, you have to cut this off. So I have some scissors here. You cut those off right there. You take all the stuff off, like you pop these off, or whatever may be on the bag, and then I'm going to show you what they look like. Okay, guys. Now you're left with two empty bags, and just be careful too. Now I, I didn't, I don't really, I just rip these half to death. But you know, if you take your time and cut the stuff, you don't tear your bags up because they last a long time. And I like about these, they got this little hook on them too, where they have to hang them up when they're on the shelf here. So you can just take and put a string on. Like say if you had just one to throw it in your pond, you don't necessarily have to put this inside the filtrate. You can just store it in the bottom of your pond and just let it sit there. And you can attach a rope to it so you just pull it out in a month or two and just have it and you can just redo everything clean the bag out re-put the garbage in and then you go from there so that's how that works right there guys and i just wanted to show you that because that's just again amazing when you think about um just again just being able to find a cheap inexpensive way to take care of your aquarium or your pond because it's such an expensive hobby over time it's just like guys that play golf. If anybody knows, golf is really expensive over time. Tennis is too. Buying all the balls, buying this, buying it. A bunch of sports are. Um, but just like that, how those hobbies are expensive, sometimes this is how you can get there. So this is a way to cut the cost down without you killing yourself. Okay? And so, um, again, you can just go to any kind of store where they have these bags. And these bags, again, are just... I mean, this is a Tuscan Hills Selected Sense. So if you went and just went to their site, if they have a site, or go Google the name, you can find these bags and see how much they charge wholesale. You could probably get tons of these things. And you can, you not only can put carbon in these, you can put media balls, you can put coarse lava rock, you can put stone, you can put sand, you can put dirt, you can put whatever you want to in these. And that way you'll be able to do what you got to do. But again, I love eBay, where well, I showed y'all that right there eBay is that place and then your little thrift stores or your little just not necessarily thrift stores but your little discount stores or bargain stores like the Marshalls or Roses or Ross Burlington if you have something like that in your town or your country somewhere or just go on Google go on um, Amazon and you might be able to find you something but more than likely you can find it locally or something similar to these doesn't have to be these mesh bags but it can be something different but these are really well made and you can put a lot of media in them, a lot of media. I mean, I just can't even spread. You could probably could have put half of this container, that's 40 ounces, in in that. Because it swells up, you wouldn't want to go too much. But at any rate, it's just amazing what you can do. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get some in, and I'll show you what it looks like here in a second. Well, okay, guys, now you see what we got here. <coughs> Excuse me. See how far? See those little grinders? Especially this one, watch. So, not only once you kind of sift this out, and I'm going to do this outside, I don't want this stuff all in my house, but I want to show you how good these bags are again for sifting material. I mean, if you have to have that, you can put it in something more like more tight, like almost like a sock almost, or something like that, or a cheesecloth. And you can bag that thing up and you can put it in your aquarium if you want to use the dust but i'm just going to pour that down in the trash or rinse it down the drain but you always rinse your charcoal off for your media depending on what's going on or what's on it then i'll put one and put one in my aquarium and one out in the pond so there you have it guys peace out you want me true buffer life i hope this helps somebody um everything else i mean pretty much self-explanatory guys after this i mean just many applications with these bags and I barely put anything in but you got to understand most media swells up so this is going to go up to here this is going to go up to here it's crazy like it's like a piece of rice it's almost like grits or something it just swells up so this bag will be pretty full here and soon or it'll start to swell out but anyways guys thanks for watching you on me tree boy for life peace out